The threats and challenges that face Afghans and Iraqis affect every coalition country working in the Central Command area of operations. Gail McCabe has more on a multinational military gathering that emphasizes cooperation and constructive conversation. An assessment is made of your forces. The goal of the Land Forces Symposium is to create an environment where army leaders from Kazakhstan to Kenya are encouraged to talk. Uh, what you have is, is that you have issues that transcend them all, but they're addressing them differently. So it's, it's Hosted question. by U.S. Army Central Command and co-sponsored by the U.S. Army, LFS is constructed around senior army leaders where their differences and similarities are crucial components. And, and, and so to discuss with them the challenges that they're facing and, and hearing different, not only different challenges, but different solutions to the problems. As military leaders, they are sworn to protect their lands and its citizens. Here in this venue, they also share the quest of adapting their forces to 21st century security challenges. Among the many subjects being discussed during this week-long event is terrorism and how to defeat it. But if we do not interact, we will not be able to know how they operate, what makes them tick, and uh, then counter. No single country Insights on the issues were addressed by recognized experts in the region. Keynote speaker, retired General John Abizade, made it clear today's global threats need to be addressed collectively. In no nation, not even the great United States of America, with all of our tremendous power, is capable of dealing with the problems of the 21st century alone. The more we can do things together, the better off we'll be. This is the third annual Land Forces Symposium, and with a registration of more than 300, it's the largest turnout to date. A reflection, according to participants, for the need of gatherings where they can talk. Gil McCabe, Atlanta.